Good Monday morning. I hope you had a wonderful Sabbath and are looking forward to a good week, enjoying all that God has in store for you. My name is Mike Courtney, and this is Monday Matters. Every Monday, I take a few minutes to talk about something that makes your life happier, healthier, and hopefully a little bit holier. Uh, you have to excuse my voice this week. I actually was supposed to speak in Atlanta this weekend at a great church. My friend Andy Rutherford is the pastor of Marietta uh, First Church of the Nazarene and woke up on Saturday morning with no voice whatsoever. I could not whisper. And Sunday it was no better. And so uh, uh, Pastor Andy graciously excused me, although he had no choice. And actually we swapped weekends I'll go back and speak this weekend in Marietta, but uh, I'm, I'm still dealing with the after effects of that, so <clears throat> sorry for the, the husky voice today. Uh, I had a friend, I have a friend, Darlene McCarty, who's a wonderful women's speaker, writer, and uh, she posted something that, that prompted this thought, you know, we've been, been talking about fasting, or in these, uh, fasting during the month of January, I've been posting something every day about fasting, writing a blog. <clears throat> Darlene posted this, diet, a diet helps you look better. Fasting helps you see better. Isn't that a great quote? Uh, my, something's different about the way I see when I fast. And so that made me think that I would uh, spend today talking about how to see better. Uh, part, of a, part of our responsibility as Christ followers, is to be able to see the way he wants us to see. How do we see better? I was in the sixth grade in Sumter, South Carolina. I sat on the front row of the classroom, and I would pull my eye like that so I could see the front of the board. And the teacher said to my parents, I think he needs glasses. I went to an optometrist, walked out with glasses, and I was absolutely amazed. I had no idea that the world looked the way it did. I thought everybody had to pull their eye like that to see. And, and until, you, until you can see, you don't know that you can't see. And so I, I think that's true for us as Christ followers. We, we think we see okay, but we really don't until we, until we recognize that and then we begin to do. So uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 says, uh, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So these four things, very quickly, about how to see better as a Christ follower. First of all, we open our eyes wide. Part of what we don't see is we don't have our eyes very uh, open very wide. Our eyes are are closed. We're we're looking at what we want to look at. We're 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 looking inward. We're not looking outward. We we don't. We don't look at the world with wide open eyes. Jesus was able to look at things and see them differently than we see them. And in fact, Paul said, uh, we focus not on what is seen, but what's unseen. For what's seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. When we open our eyes wide, we are able to see things the way God would have us see them. And a part of that is point number two. When we open our eyes wide, we see with our heart. Uh, the real seeing, spiritual seeing, is not done with our eyes. It's done with our heart. To open our heart and be able to see, to see the poor and the oppressed as opportunities to be the hands and feet of Jesus. To see the poor and the oppressed as opportunities for us to experience Jesus. When you've done this unto the least of these, you've done this unto me. To see those people who are hard to get along with, who are difficult, to see them as people who desperately need love, who give us a chance to, to be uh, the heart of Jesus to them. Open your eyes wide. See with your heart. Focus, uh, uh, look around, but focus on what is ahead. We need to look all around and see what God has in store for us, but we focus on what is ahead. Uh, when I was running, which I haven't for a while, but when I was running, one of the things, and I would run, my, Jennifer and I ran uh, the Music City Marathon twice, and one of the things that you learn is you, you focus about five or six feet in front of you, and you just stay focused on that. You look at that. You look around. You see the, the scenery. You see what you're passing. You see where the other runners are. 
but you really focus on just five or six feet in front, not way out, but just five or six feet in front of you. Keep your eyes focused on the next step on what God has in store for you. And then finally this, back to my story of the sixth grade, don't be afraid to use corrective lenses. Uh, sometimes my eyesight is blurred for because of life circumstances, because of uh, mindset, because of family of origin issues. Don't be afraid to use corrective lenses. The best corrective lens I know is the Word of God. To begin to see people, to begin to see the world around me, to begin to see circumstances through the Word of God, that changes everything. So, we, uh, we go on a diet so we look better, but we fast so we can see better. And if we are Christ followers, we need to see better and to better serve Him. Thanks for being a part of Monday Matters. This is about all the talking I can do. Pray for me that I get it back by next week. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Tune in every day for a little blog about fasting. Go to branchesblog.com. Thanks. Have a great day.